Hi everybody, Mike Arnzen here. I want to walk uh, mostly the students in my classes through uh, how to use SoundCloud effectively for different tasks like group assignments and uh, critiques. Uh, let me just right, jump right into SoundCloud and show you how I tend to use it. Uh, and I'll walk you through some steps here. Uh, first you go to SoundCloud.com right up there in the upper left. You use your browser, not necessarily an app. I think you can do more things through your web browser on a laptop or something. Uh, when you sign in, it gives you the options to use Facebook or Google. That might be easy, I'm not sure, but I always use the traditional login credentials that I set up. I just feel like that's more trustworthy and I allow it to remember me with a cookie. Okay, uh, Here's what the page looks like when it loads up on my screen now, and this is in August 2014, so it might be different for you. There might be a pop-up message in the upper right-hand corner, uh, some messages or alerts, and you can see if you click on those, you'll get a stream of things. Like here, I see I have some comments on um, a file I uploaded recently and some messages from folks. Uh, those are old ones from last semester. Uh, but as you can tell, I'm working the upper right corner of the screen here by clicking on my user profile, basically, and seeing the different things I can do. Uh, on the left side of the screen, this is called your stream when you log in, and these are all files that have been shared by the people that you are following. So if you're not following uh, people in your class or in a group, you're not seeing all this. You might see some random music or something like that that SoundCloud decided to, to give you. Um, You'll also see your own work there. Mine is way down here because I posted a, my most recent post was a day ago, as it indicates right there. Okay, so moving along, um, one of the things I do as a teacher is I go straight to groups, which is right there in the upper right hand corner. You can see all the groups I've made. For the purposes of this video, I want to go to the current class group that started. And I've asked everyone to do this in my class, and it's only been 24 hours since I made that request. So far, I can see 13 people have signed up. Not all of them have put a photo for their profile, but there they are. Uh, the important thing to do is to always look for this View All button. That can help you. That link to View All can really help you open up parts of SoundCloud that you might not realize exist. So here I have an overview of all the members who have joined our class group so far. And um, if you're ever looking for a classmate, that's how you do it. Go there and look for them. Now hopefully everybody here will upload a, a photo like Katie has done here and Samantha and Caitlin uh, and Kylie so that we can you know, visually identify you, especially if you use a trick name, you know, some kind of uh, handle that might not be obvious, like Samiwa. <laughs> uh, you know, the picture tells us who that is in our class, so you, you should do that. It all, that picture also automatically goes with your profile, and so there's my old one. And if you don't supply a separate photo for your uploads, your sounds, as you can see here, I'm trying to circle it with my mouse, um, it automatically defaults to using your profile picture. So you can change that when you upload a file. And we can talk about that in a minute. Um, whenever you want to, after you've uploaded a file, which I presume you can you do with either the iPad app, which is really helpful, or just by uploading a sound file that you recorded on your computer through the web um, app, you'll, you'll get these files. And you can always work with those uploads by clicking on the title of the file after it's been shared to make sure everything's up to speed. On this sound page, you'll not only see what you did and, and the title of it, but there are some crucial elements here to work with, like this little, tiny little, I'm trying to circle it with my mouse here, tiny little pencil. If you click on that, that opens up an editing page where you can do all sorts of things. You can replace the file with a new recording. You can change the title. You can add tags so people can find it if, by searching for those tags. And you can describe what's in that file. I recommend you do all of that. And obviously, you need to pr check, make your file public if you want the class to be able to see that which you do down here. You can work with it privately until you feel it's ready to share with others. Then you have to change it to public and then click Save on the bottom. There are other things here like metadata, which you don't really need to worry about for class or permissions. But I think the basic info there is crucial to work with. And you'll see that it, you can click on this big box for the picture to change that picture. 
I'm not going to change that right now because I like that one. Okay, let's go back. Um, I'll just click on my name to get to the profile. Another element to these files when they're on SoundCloud is that you can share them. And um, both on this main page and on the story page is a share button, which I'm trying to indicate with my mouse now. If you click on that, it opens up a way for you to embed this file, this graphic, into a website to share it on Facebook and Twitter. And yes, you should sh click on that if you want to share something with our class. I just did it there. It opens up my Twitter account. And I'll just put our hashtag for the class, EL232. Uh, SoundCloud example for the story. And tweet that. And later it will appear on Twitter. So that's good. But there are other things that you can do here. Um, if you want to embed it on your website, make sure you click through these options, which change the size of it. Um, don't just go with the default one if you don't want a big boxy picture for your message. And uh, the code here, you, you select and copy and paste it into your, your website. Um, message allows you to add something to the, to the file itself, and you can send it to a classmate or whatever. But uh, I wanted to point out how to use comments real quick before this gets too long. Um, when you want to leave a comment on a file, uh, you just basically play it and then... You, you click on the sound file, like right where you want to leave your comment, so it corresponds to that moment in the sound and the audio. And you type your comment, whatever it might be. I'm not going to do this again. But I, as you'll see, on the SoundCloud file page, all the comments appear down below. And here I have a number on the one I uploaded yesterday. It's a... Uh, Sometimes people say they can't read the whole comment, that it gets cut off. Like maybe you can see this one here, which I'm underlining with my mouse. Uh, there's, a, there's an ellipsis at the very end, so it looks like it's cut off. What people aren't realizing is that you have to go to this View All link at the top. Click View All, and it opens up all the comments so you can read them. And it even threads your, re your responses like a, a discussion board. This is how you will be using comments quite often in... Uh, our class for different activities so you want to make sure you do that um, the other thing that I wanted to show you real quick is how to add a file to our class group which is very important too um, you'll see that there is an icon under the file with basically silhouettes and a plus sign on it that's add to group when you click on that all the groups that you're joined will list here and the, the one for our current class is this EL232 and you can just click the simple add to group button and it'll it'll make sure it'll ensure that that file appears in the group itself. Let me go to the groups. How do you find our class groups? You click on your name, you scroll down to where it says groups, and there you'll find all the different groups you're in. This is the one for my current class, EL232, and you'll see that Jessica Walker, Caitlin Hensel, and me are the only ones who have uploaded our files to this group so far. Even though I know several people have done their homework, they just have forgotten that they need to add it to our group. Another way to do that is to go straight to the group page if you can find it and click on this upload to group. That's going to ask you to upload a new file. Instead, you go to the right next to it where it says select a track from your profile. You can just click on that and all oops, all of your sound files are appear there. You select the one you want to appear and it will show up. What is a story? It will show up on the group. Okay, those are some of the key features I wanted to mention. I uh, hope this was helpful video is kind of longer than I wanted it to be but as you can see there's a lot of features in SoundCloud and when in doubt go up to the upper right corner and look for help that'll help you thank you